Hi friends, this is Srinivas Paul Amraju. Now, I introduced a new channel, Friendly Maths. This is a channel useful to learn mathematical concepts in a friendly manner. Not that much friendly, mathematics is different. But I will try my level best to introduce in a friendly manner. And uh, then, using this channel, I hope and I promise you that you can get the mathematical concepts perfectly then be ready now today is it's my first video i want to introduce pythagoras theorem in this video i want to introduce pythagoras theorem you know pythagoras theorem is a well familiar theorem in mathematics actually this theorem we are using from sixth class onwards generally mathematical concepts we are going to be learned by triple a triple a means what you know accept apply and then analyze first one we, should, we are unable to learn why pythagoras theorem happened now in 6th class 7th class you people accepted this pythagoras theorem and we applied for two more years now it's time in 10th class we are going to learn how to analyze it how to prove it now this pythagoras theorem is having different different proofs depending upon similar triangles concept and different different proofs and there are some tricks to prove but now I am proving it by using trigonometry using Pythagoras theorem the proof of Pythagoras theorem by using trigonometry now what is Pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of other two sides the, in a right angle triangle these are said to be perpendicular sides and the opposite right angle is said to be hypotenuse the sum of hypot the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of other two sides that is pythagoras theorem that we are going to be proved by using trigonometry first let me explain a little part about the trigonometry trigonometry is useful to solve maximum problems in simplest way what is trigonometry take a right angle triangle this trigonometry is introduced by using a Pythagoras theorem and Pythagoras theorem is helpful to find out you know, they are interlinked. Now, there is a right angle triangle. These two are acute angles. Then, you take any one of the acute angles is a theta. You may take at A or you may take at C. Then, the majorly there are three trigonometric ratios. And every ratio has its inverse. That's why we have three inverse trigonometric ratios also. But now we will learn this trigonometry briefly in further classes. Now, for this theorem, what is required? I will explain those two things. Now, I need sine theta and cos theta. What is sine theta? Sine theta is not the product of sine and theta. Sine theta is the ratio obtained by opposite side of theta. You to avoid the confusion, I am eliminating one of the theta. You can take theta in anywhere. You can take it A or you can take it C. But we have to consider one angle. That's why I am taking angle C. Now. AB is opposite side of theta. The ratio obtained by opposite side to hypotenuse is nothing but sin theta. Now what is opposite to theta? AB. And hypotenuse is always permanent. We should not change. Its center and opposite are going to be changed by the change of position of theta. But hypotenuse remains same. That is always opposite to 90 degrees. So it is AC. And cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. These are sine theta means in right angle triangle, theta is one of the acute angles. Uh, the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse is nothing but sine theta. And whereas the cos theta is the ratio obtained by adjacent side of theta to hypotenuse, BC by AC. Using these two concepts, I will explain this Pythagoras theorem in simplest manner. It is easy to score four marks in examination. You can write it, no worry. No worry. Generally, in 10th class, Pythagoras theorem proof is depending upon the similar triangle concept that also we will explain later but the first video to make it a fun or a somewhat simple to introduce myself in a great manner that's why I started with the Pythagoras theorem by trigonometry. okay now first of all there is a fundamental rule to write the theorem theorem we should not write something something what we know there is a split mark for every step there is a mark that's why now what are the fundamental rules to write the theorem that we can see? 
these fundamental rules should be remembered like from okay then first first what we have right statement some theorems are named like pythagoras theorem and one more name is there for this baudhayana theorem these names are given they will not mention sometimes the statement sometimes without giving the name they will give the statement then we have to identify oh this statement is belongs to pythagoras theorem or baudhayana theorem like that even though if we given statement or did not give the only name is given it doesn't matter we have to write the statement first next diagram diagram means you should not draw as you wish depending upon the statement what is given the statement that should be represented in diagram it means that is called analytical power there is the right angle right angle then you draw one right angle there is an acute angle right angle you draw one acute angle there is a circle you draw one circle depending upon the statement we have to construct a diagram then third given the given is also called as hypothesis somewhat when we develop in mathematics this is called as hypothesis and what is given what is given the statement generally these statements are conditional conditional means what if you read well then you will get good mark if you want to earn money then you should be more dedicated towards the work like that if you eat well then you will be steadily like something is happen then only something will happen that is called as if p then q if p then q this is one more important chapter p implies q p implies q symbolically we write as p implies q in statement wise it can call as if p then q and then the p aithe q avutundi ani ardha avutundi nu baaga tinte healthy ga untav understand ala if p aithe then q avutundi p is nothing but given it is called as hypothesis and q is called as conclusion okay now what is given given we have right i hope everybody understand of further classes we can discuss about more about these statements uh, hypothesis and fourth is conclusion conclusion is nothing but what we are going to be prove what we have to prove in this theorem huh? but these given and i what we have to prove we have to write by using the names of the diagram understand next construction construction is a special for it is not required for all the theorems if some theorems are required the construction if it is required then we have to go with the construction then last the major part proof how to prove it first of all my teachers are under age apparently when we know proof then only we can able to go with the systematic manner this is a systematic manner statement diagram given what we have to prove construction and proof these are the fundamental rules to start a theorem now we start pythagoras theorem by using trigonometry but in this part what is the statement the statement is common it is not depending upon the proof what are the proof we are following the statement of pythagoras theorem is very calm that is same now pythagoras theorem we are using from 6 to 7th onwards but this is the time we are learning the proof now what is pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle very important note right pythagoras theorem can exist only for right angle triangle in a right angle triangle the square of hypotenuse maybe my handwriting is somewhat different slowly slowly you people can understand square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of other two sides now what is next part we have to go with diagram now it's a right angle triangle we have to take a right angle triangle abc angle b is equal to 90 degrees then hypotenuse what is hypotenuse here opposite side to right angle ac is hypotenuse ab and bc are other two perpendicular sides now this statement what is given what we have to prove all these statements are like conditional what condition is given here this pythagoras theorem is applicable only in right angle triangle that is the condition we cannot go with any other triangles uh, in right angle triangle what is given here there is a right angle triangle that is given here so in triangle abc angle b is equal to 90 degrees means what it is a 
right angle triangle what is given we have to write by using the names of the diagram now what we have to prove generally in conditional statements what is given is called as hypothesis and what we have to prove that is called as conclusion that you can learn in further classes but now what given what we have to prove. what we have to prove hypotenuse square hypotenuse is opposite to right angle that is nothing but ac ac square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides what are the other two sides ab square and sum is nothing but addition plus bc square that is required to prove but now we are using trigonometry that's why what is trigonometry we have to apply trigonometry in right angle triangle then sin theta cos theta all these are familiar no but now what is sin theta sin theta is a ratio obtained by opposite and hypotenuse of a right angle triangle by depending upon the position of theta now i want to introduce trigonometry now that's why what is major thing i want to construct i have to consider an acute angle theta now i am considering c as theta now what i am taking let angle c is equal to theta now construction completed then we have to go for proof the major part proof now from this right angle triangle i want to derive sin theta what is sin theta sin theta is equal to opposite side of theta to hypotenuse from triangle abc sin theta is equal to opposite ab by ac and cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent is bc and hypotenuse is ac this is a very simple procedure and very easy to learn and easy to score the mark also some people are fearing about doing this pythagoras theorem by similar triangles concept this is very helpful you then what is identity we know in trigonometry using the sin and cos is we know sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 what is sin theta here ab by ac sin square theta means what ab square by ac square plus cos square theta cos theta is bc by ac that's why cos square theta is equal to what bc square by ac square is equal to 1 generally when we are going to add the fractions we have to take lcm now i am not doing lcm what is lcm same denominator means ac square it is better to write like in a posh manner multiply by ac square nothing but we are doing multiply lcm and afterward sending that side the one the old model now multiply by the lcm directly we can get it right now if you multiply ac square what happens this ac square and uh, what we are multiplying that ac square is going to be cancelled then what you are getting ab square plus here also when you multiply ac square that ac square and this ac square is going to be cancelled then you are getting bc square then if you are multiplying 1 to ac square then you will get ac square that is already proved what we have to prove ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square therefore ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square it's already proved the theorem is concluded generally mathematics can explain different different ways here also there is different different proofs for mathematics in pythagoras theorem but this is one of the easiest to prove we are using trigonometry i hope everybody can understand and from this channel what i want to say you know the topics in simplest manner yeah we be stay tune to my channel and get success in your mathematics and make your mathematical concepts clear when you know concept perfect then you can do any problem thank you bye